the second uh, module under Leibridge Concrete, uh, which we are discussing, is post tension box girder. Uh, as you can see, uh, the the box girder has been modeled in OBM. Uh, it's a two cell box girder. The same information has been uh, transferred to Leibridge Concrete um, uh, cast in place uh, module. Uh, this is the cross section uh, which will be transferred to the Leibridge Concrete uh, post tension box girder module. So uh, here uh, I would like to show you the uh, uh, in this video uh, the procedure uh, the, or the workflow. Uh, the model has been transferred to Leibridge Concrete. Um, so click on the CIP uh, post tension uh, girder module. So the user has to input the tendons. Uh, information here we have we have already predefined tendons uh, in the library just select those tendons from the library um, so once the tendon is selected if you want a p-jack uh, from from the left end or from the right end uh, that can be selected there so once this information is uh, added uh, user can um, uh, select the type of live load they would like to run uh, on the bridge uh, under different uh, load combinations uh, and the user has to run the analysis. Once the analysis run, uh, the required uh, PJAC and the provided PJAC information will be provided when all those information is good. Uh, we have to design uh, the girder for some residual moment uh, for that uh, the program uh, uh, assigns uh, or, or designs uh, uh, longitude assigns longitudinal reinforcement to counter that uh, negative uh, counter that residual moment. Uh, once the flexural design is done, um, now the shear design is uh, uh, performed wherein user has to select the bar size or the stirrup size, the number of legs, and click on auto design, and, and the program will uh, quickly design uh, the box girder for the shear. So once the design is done, copy that to the model. Uh, you have to run the analysis uh, just to update all the information on a regular basis. Uh, then once the design is done, you have to go to the rating tab uh, give a new name to the rating uh, which you would like to perform uh, and uh, that uh, design inventory and design operating load combinations will be uh, populated uh, and the user can select the type of vehicle they would like to run. Uh, if you click on uh, rating analysis, the, the rating analysis will be performed here uh, and a summary report will be generated at the bottom of uh, bottom half of the, uh, the dialog box. So once it's done, uh, you can update the file and give a name to it and, and save the file. So you have to get back into the same module. Uh, you have to run the analysis. Uh, so once the analysis is run, uh, you can go to print and you can, you can uh, generate an enhanced report uh, in a tabular format. Uh, in the enhanced report, uh, as you can see, it's a very detailed report uh, wherein, wherein the, the, the shear, the moment uh, values are already provided. The stresses are already calculated there for dead load and live load and pre-stress. Uh, and the program uh, generates the report for concrete tension, concrete compression, flexure, shear, uh, and pre-stressing uh, uh, tens tensile stresses rating factor. So if you want to print it in a PDF format, uh, the same information same information can be printed uh, and saved uh, and submitted to your client. So uh, these are the report. Uh, the first report is uh, for the design inventory and operating, the moment and shear rating uh, report. Uh, it's quite extensive, a little bit difficult to uh, view the report. Uh, so it shows the POI, the locations, um, uh, the what type of structure it is, whether it's a, a reinforced concrete structure or a pre-stress structure, the rating factor values, the K value, uh, the moment capacity, uh, the DC uh, moment, uh, that's a dead load moment, the pre-stress uh, and the live load moment. Uh, which is, this is for the moment uh, rating factor uh, report and the second one is for the shear rating factor report. So the same information is provided uh, for shear, uh, for dead load and live load and the rating factor is calculated. So in the next report, as you can see here, uh, the additional uh, uh, reports which are generated uh, are for uh, pre-stress uh, uh, pre uh, steel uh, tension report, concrete tension and concrete compression. Uh, so in this case, I would like to show you the uh, hand calculation for concrete tension and compression at the mid span, uh, which the ones which I have highlighted right now. Uh, so uh, you can get the allowable uh, stress uh, the dead load stress, the live load stress uh, information here. Uh, 
so that information uh, is inputted in your spreadsheet or you can do your hand calculation quickly um, so the uh, the final allow uh, final resistance at the top where fr is calculated which is equal to allowable tensile stress minus uh, the stress due to effective uh, pre stress which is fpe um, so th these are basically the stresses not the exact moment uh, and the shear values uh, so this information is uh, inputted in this rating factor equation which is uh, fr uh, minus uh, the load factor times the stress due to dead load and the load factor times the stress due to uh, live load. Uh, so once this information is added, the program calculates the rating factor, uh, which uh, matches con box. Uh, uh. So this is for concrete tension, uh, where an allowable tensile stress is calculated. For concrete compression, um, uh, the procedure is same, uh, where an allowable uh, compressive stress is uh, calculated. Uh, allowable compressive stress is calculated. Uh, here is the concrete strength. Uh, the stress due to effective pre-stress is calculated. All, all the stresses due to dead load and live load is uh, inputted here. Uh, and the flexural resistance at top, FR, is calculated, which is equal to allowable compressive stress minus the effective stress. So this, this information is uh, inputted in the uh, this equation, FR, uh, at top minus the load factor times the dead load at the top, dead load stresses at the top, divided by uh, the load factor times the stresses due to live load at top. So then you get the final rating factor value of 6.2, uh, which matches the, uh, the table uh, value over there. So some of the queries uh, which we received for Conbox uh, or the post-tension box girder module is how to customize rating parameters. Uh, so in this particular rating tab, the user can modify the tendon uh, rebar stir up information in change rating option, which is here. Uh, and for each individual uh, rating combination, user can right click uh, on those combinations that is design inventory and design operating. Uh, and they click on edit combination, a new window appears. Uh, here in this particular dialog box, the user can customize the load factor, the allowable stress factors, design methodology and rating types. Uh, and they can customize their rating uh, the way they want as per their client requirement. So uh, the next uh, the next program which I would like to discuss here is Leibridge Steel. Uh, so I would like to show you the workflow in Leibridge Steel, uh, how the rating is done, how the design is done, and some related hand calculation and common queries raised by users. So as you can see here, uh, composite steel uh, girder uh, bridge has been modeled in open bridge modeler. The procedure is same. Uh, just uh, click on Leibridge Steel uh, button on the toolbar. The information will be transferred to Leibridge Steel program. Uh, the 3D model is created here. Uh, so once the data is transferred correctly, uh, the user can see the 3D model uh, in the main window. Uh, and you can see uh, the, those are the three support conditions. And also the type of uh, steel girder which has been imported can be seen here. All the other information like the cross uh, frames and the diaphragms, uh, so all those information are transferred uh, correctly to Leibridge Steel. Uh, here the, you can see the load combinations, the default lo load combinations, and the related uh, dead load and live load uh, values are seen in the load dialog box. Uh, once once all those information are uh, confirmed and verified, uh, you need to click on analysis. We have three options. One is line girder analysis, grill age, and finite element analysis. For In this case, uh, I'll be running the finite element analysis. So if you click on run, analy run analysis, uh, the program will uh, perform the analysis. Once the analysis is done, uh, the user can see uh, a very nice graphical view of the moment. Uh, the shear and the displacement uh, uh, graphics uh, values there through the graphics a report can be generated as well uh, so this is the design check uh, wherein the user can uh, perform the design and they can uh, go through all the design check report so once the design is done you, uh, the user has to save the file this is very important if you don't save the file the analysis and design uh, information will go away so once the design is done uh, we have two two mode there. One is the design mode. The other one is the rating mode. User has to click on the rating mode, uh, and they have to to run the rating. They have to give a new name to it, uh, rating one, uh, whatever the uh, the name they have to give. Uh, then they have to reconfirm if all the all the loads are uh, loads applied are correct. Uh, so once that information is confirmed and verified, uh, the user can run the analysis. They can set up the mesh setting as well. Uh, 
uh, and and they can run the analysis the program performs uh, the analysis so in the background uh, the stat uh, works uh, the the analytical engine is a stat engine uh, so once the analysis is performed uh, as you, as you can see the displacement uh, graphics over there uh, then the user has to click on rating uh, option and and the rating analysis needs to be performed so once the rating is performed the you, you, the user can generate the report it's a very extensive report kind of a uh, little bit difficult to show the report uh, in the presentation so so i've used the same values uh, here uh, and i've created a table uh, through excel sheet So select all the appropriate options there and click on generate, and the user uh, and the program will generate a very detailed report uh, with with the uh, uh, related articles uh, the the program has checked uh, or the controlling equations or articles uh, for the rating. And again, uh, again the user has to save the file to save both the design uh, and the rating uh, analysis. Um, so once. It is done. They can save the whole thing uh, under OpenBridge uh, Designer. So here you can see, as I said, the the, the report for LibreBridge still is quite extensive. So I just uh, uh, populated all this information in Excel sheet and and shown here uh, a consolidated uh, information here. Uh, this is for the design inventory, strength one, limit state, the moment, and the shear rating um, calculation. The program uh, provides you the DC one load. Uh, DC2 DW uh, live load uh, and moment capacity and moment rating factor value is calculated here. Uh, similarly, the same information is shown for uh, shear uh, as well, uh, wherein shear capacity is calculated and the shear rating factor is calculated as shown at, at each and every POI. So some of the queries uh, which we have we have got over a period of time are: uh, Does Leap uh, Steel uh, performs load rating on cross frames? Uh, as per Ashto MB third edition uh, Article 6A.6.9.7, uh, states that diaphragm and cross frame members in horizontally curved bridges shall be considered to be primary members and should be loaded load rated accordingly at the discretion of the owner. Uh, currently, Lee Bridge Steel does not perform the load rating on the cross frame, but in the future versions, we are planning to implement this feature uh, so that it will help the uh, the Lee Bridge Steel users to get the rating for uh, cross frames as well. Uh, then, how to retain analysis results for both design and rating in Lee Bridge Steel? As I mentioned before, uh, the program loses the analysis results when the mode is changed from design to rating. Uh, the solution to this issue is to run the analysis for design and save it then change the mode to rating and run the analysis and then save it again then save the whole file um, you know, by giving a new name to it so then the program retains both the analysis results uh, and and the rating results uh, the other query uh, common query is does uh, different types of cross frame affect the mo moment rating results uh, yes uh, when the moment rating results uh, between x frame and inverted wave frame output was compared so when the investigation was done, there was a difference in rating factor value. As you can see in this uh, tabular uh, report, uh, the, the rating factor values did uh, change. The program is accounting for different types of cross frames. And yes, uh, it will affect the rating uh, as well. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.